Welcome to the Digital Photography Podcast, video edition, episode number 15, for Monday, November the 12th, 2007. In this episode, I'm going to review a new product from On One Software called Phototune version 2. This is a plugin for Photoshop that works with most versions of Photoshop, including Photoshop Elements 4.0.1 and higher. It works on both the Mac and the PC. So in this episode, I'm going to load a few images into Photoshop and show you how this program works by actually using it. Let's load up uh, a picture here. This is a picture I took just a couple of days ago at the air show at Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. And uh, it was uh, a little funny lighting conditions. Uh, I'm not terribly happy with the way it looks. So let's load it up into this program and see what we can do with it. Now, Phototune actually comes with two completely separate programs, Color Tune and Skin Tune. Skin Tune, of course, is used for portraits and pictures of people, skin, and uh, color tune is used for just about everything else. So that's what we're going to use in this one, color tune. We load up the software here, and it wants to show me a little uh, tutorial, so let's get rid of that. And this is the interface. This is actually pretty cool. I like this. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. What this does, it takes you through six different steps where basically it just asks you, which one of these two pictures do you like the best? That way you don't have to worry about hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, all these different things that go into making an image. All you have to worry about is what looks best to you as you go through. So we'll click on this one, and now it shows me two more. And again, I'm going to go with the one on the right, and the one on the left. The one on the left here has a little bit of green in it, I think. I'm going to have to go with this one. Uh, again with this one. And I think again with the one on the right. And now we're at the end and it shows us a before and after. The one on the left is the original image. The one on the right is the after. And even from here, there's more you can do as far as saturation, contrast, brightness, you know, adjusting the colors. Uh, we can get in here and do auto shadows, a lot of different things. But basically, as you can see, if you just go through the system of selecting the best of the two images in the six ones that are presented to you, you get to the end, you get an image that looks a lot better than the one you started with. All right, so this is the image we end up with. And uh, just to show you again, that's what it looked like when we started. And that was what we ended up with. Now, I made some pretty major uh, changes to this image you know, using the software just to show how dramatically you can change an image. Uh, I may have actually overdone it a little bit. But for the, for the sake of demonstration, I think it's kind of cool to show that you can really take an image and change the way it looks. And again, uh, the, one of the things that I really like about this image is, I mean, this piece of software, is that you can have an image and know that you don't like the way it looks, but not know exactly what's wrong with it or how to fix it. Uh, you don't know if it's, you know, a, a, a saturation problem or a hue problem or brightness or contrast or any of the other hundreds or you know variables that could be uh, you know the problem here so rather than concerning yourself with what the exact problem is with this piece of software with color tune all you need to know is what you like and what you don't like and you just click through and you end up in the end hopefully with something that you do like so since the two pieces of software in this package color tune and skin tune are separate plugins I'm going to treat them as such and so we'll end the review of color tune here and I'll say that color tune is a great little program it does what it's supposed to do it's fun to use and I would give this a five out of five rating and I would recommend it to anybody that wants to improve their images without being too terribly concerned with the technical aspects of what's wrong or, or how you're supposed to go about fixing it. So let's move on. Let me just close this real quick and move on to the second bit of software that comes with this, uh, Skin Tune. 
and I'll open up a picture I have here. This is from Prague. This is a bunch of people just standing watching the big giant cuckoo clock. And the skin tones, as you can see, are a little, uh, yeah, they're not so good. I didn't do a good job of getting the skin tones in this picture. So let's see if we can save the day with, whoops, skin tune. Okay, so once you're in this program, the first thing it wants you to do is click on some skin. And we'll just use this cheek here. And a drop down comes down to ask you the uh, sort of nationality of the people. So we're going to go with Caucasian. That's probably about as close as we can come on this one. And it brings up a window on the right. Now the interface on this program is quite a bit different than Color Tune. And Frankly, I've got a bit of a problem with that because I really liked the way Color Tune worked. This is completely different. This is a little more manual, but yet still kind of automatic. Um, they give you a sort of a slider down here where you can click on different skin tones. And it does some wacky things to the picture, I can see. Like when I get over here on the right, you can see everything's starting to look a little greener. And that's kind of weird. So let's zoom in here because we're mainly concerned with the faces. So you just kind of keep clicking around. Now I'm sure there's a great tutorial and it teaches you all this, but what I really like to do with these pieces of software is I like to just install them and dive right in. And if I can use it right away and do something cool with it right away, then that says a lot about the software. If I have to get in and you know read a lot of manuals and uh, look at a lot of tutorials and stuff then then maybe the program's not as strong as it could be So I'm in here, and I'm just kind of dumbly clicking around uh, changing the brightness You know all these different sliders and I'm seeing some differences now see that's kind of crazy But we're getting a little more skin tone, so it's starting to work And we've got some sliders here So there we go. So, okay, I've made some differences. I think it's the picture on the right is definitely better than the one on the left. And uh, so it does what it's supposed to do. It definitely cleaned it up, you know, the skin tones. But it also seemed to affect the tones of everything else also. It, it didn't just do the skin, which I thought somehow magically it would. But, uh, but it did improve the photo overall. So I'm going to say the program does what it's supposed to do. Uh, I've got a little problem with the interface. I really wish they would have went with the same interface they used on Color Tune, where you just kept picking between better and worse, better and worse, until you got to what you really liked. I'm not sure why they went with a different uh, different way of doing it here. But, uh, but it's a pretty cool program. I'm going to say on a scale of 1 to 5, I'll give this part of it a 3. So between the two programs, I guess if we average them out, we're getting a 4 out of 5, which is not bad at all. I believe the program's about $129, and uh, I definitely think it's worth it. Even if you just like the color tune application and you don't like the skin tune so much, kind of like myself, um, I think it's probably still worth the price just for that one app. So uh, again, uh, color tune, 5 out of 5. Love it. Skin tune, 3 out of 5. I like it, but I don't love it. So we're averaging four out of five and a price of 129 from On One Software. So check it out for yourself. There are uh, trial versions you can download and give it a try and see if you like it. So that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed this little review of On One Software's Photo Tune 2. Till next week. Keep on shooting.